So today I'd like to hopefully show you a tip whereby uh, using the SD90 in conjunction with the uh, Roland FR4X or 8X for that matter, uh, you can achieve, I'm just going to turn off the audio for the uh, 4X now so that it's only being used as a controller uh, for the SD90, the Ketron. And um, what I'm showing, going to show you is like if I have uh, a guitar sound, in this case a smooth jazz uh, voice, I can also have it on the left hand. going into, this is the editor for the FR4X, and um, you go into the system, and you're going to go into um, MIDI, and uh, down here, you're going to see a second base out, uh, and you're going to change whatever channel you have it on to channel one. So it's going to be sending a signal to uh, channel one of your SD90. And I think that highlighting that turns it on. And then once you've done that, uh, you're going to save that by going to system. Uh, I'm sorry, tools, uh, write system, and then write and that's going to change the uh, left hand so that now it is playing on MIDI 1. some additional points. First of all, if you change to, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to a bus. Okay, let's say I go to a bassa. Now your octave, uh, that is a grand piano. And my octave, you can see, is a zero. It has no plus or minus one. But if I change this to a guitar, let's say, it's too low. And what I'm going to have to do is raise the octave of the SD90 1 plus 1. this uh, application, I'm not going to use my bass. I'm going to let the SD90 play for me. But let's say I have the SD90 off, but I want to uh, utilize the voices and make my left hand do uh, the same uh, voice as my right. Let's say I want to change this to Spanish guitar. <laughs> going to have to lower the octave on the SD90 to make it sound like that's kind of low let's put it up one so it's going to depend on your particular taste That 
to me is a little high, so... going to have to play with that a little bit. Um, another thing I want to show you, uh, for those that don't know, uh, if you are in a particular uh, voice on your FR4X, uh, under tone selection, you're going to see the octave here. So I'm going to raise, I'm going to take out the SD90 sound, and I'm going to raise my uh, audio sound. <laughs> This is the FR4X now, not the SD90. And if I want to change, so obviously if I want to change that octave here and go up an octave, oh, down rather, it's going to go down and up. But it's going to still be sending the MIDI channel signal that it's sending to the SD90 is found under this tab. So if you go to MIDI, this octave is sending to zero to the SD90. So this tab, um, just to review, s changes the octave on the X4, while this tab uh, controls the octave on the SD90. Y you need to be aware of that when you're setting up your registrations and also when you're saving, oh, you're setting up your registrations for both uh, the X4 and also the SD90. Um, so that's another tip that I have. So I'm showing you this because a lot of uh, folks on this uh, page, I believe, are accordion players or digital accordion players. And we come from a background of uh, having our bass sound like a walking bass um, or electric uh, bass. But sometimes when we want to get that acoustic feel, um, this might be a way to help you uh, have your left hand uh, sound like the instrument on your right hand with the SD90. Of course, if you want to do that on the X4, uh, you simply, like in my case, I'll have my right hand as uh, the piano, and I'll have my left hand uh, as a piano. So again, uh, this is the X4, and my, and my chords. All right, so here's my, here's a guitar sound. Let that change. So in this case, now I'm doing a flamingo guitar in my right hand. And I'm at, this is my left hand. It's more authentic uh, when you have the right and left hand playing the same voicing. All right, so I hope that I've, uh, you've been able to get one or two points from this, and I thank you for watching.